Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Monday, August 9th, my 41st birthday. It is uh, 68 degrees, going up to 88. <coughs> then we're going into our little mini heat wave. We're gonna have like four days in the, in the mid 90s. It's been really nice lately, so been fairly lucky got a new lighter it's a uh, Corona old boy sandblasted I have a few of these old boys I, I always wanted a sandblasted one I'm a little bummed out because I bought it off of Amazon and the picture that they had we had the, the had this amazing ring grain and like that was the reason why I got it because I was I, I looked at some other ones at some other locations and it looked just like this just like a regular sandblast you know but the one that they had on the Victor had this like cross ring grain right it blasted here and went and like fanned out so I uh, I was a little bummed when I got it but still a great lighter I'm gonna keep this one in the, you know, I'm not gonna bring it to work. I have this one, which used to be white. This was all white. White and gold, it was a sharp lighter. And then what happened was, from bringing it to work and it, you know, getting falling out of my pocket and getting, you know, banged around and whatnot, <coughs> it, uh, it started to get scratched. <coughs> And then it got to the point where it got really scratched and I just scratched all the rest of the white off and turned it into like a brass gold lighter. So this is gonna, that's gonna be my knock around one. This one I'm just gonna, you know, keep it home for the most part. Just wanted to show it to you guys. And today, traffic jam, I am smoking my Radice Hawkbill. It's a silk cut contrast stain. I love their, their sandblast. Radice's got some awesome, their silk cut pipes are, are really, really awesome. Um, cool little pipe. I, I had started to dedicate this to uh, Lakeland blends, but I, I really don't smoke that many Lakeland blends to really dedicated pipe to one so I decided that if I really wanted to smoke this pipe I gotta do away with that so today I'm smoking one of my favorite bulk blends um, it's uh, blended by Russ Roulette might even be part of the Hearth and Home series but it's uh Louisiana Red. <clears throat> it's a bell bone bulk. It's one of the few ribbon cuts that I uh, that I that I actually stock seller. This is another one of those blends that I feel like is super underrated um, or not really known about. It's. Uh, it's got two different types of Red Virginias and a good amount of St. James Perique. So if you like Vapors, if you like Red Virginia, you'll love this blend. Um, I've, I've, I've had some like just regular Red Virginia blends, um, like Sutliff 515, um, stuff like that but I feel like this having the decent amount of Perique in it really adds like the, the sweet and sour to the like sourness of the Red Virginia it adds a little sweetness that kind of plays real well balances the, the blend out I tend to find um, 
straight red Virginia blends a little one dimensional. They're good, don't get me wrong, I enjoy them, but I, I'm always like looking for something else. Um, I don't really know what to compare this to, honestly. Um, <coughs> it's a good vapor, being that it's like red Virginia vapor. Um, you know, it's not like a Elizabethan it, that's got brown Virginias, and I feel like that's darker and heavier. This is really, really good. You know what? This is something my buddy Steve Oster would probably, Steve, if you're watching this, you would probably really like this. Um, I don't know if I sent any of this to you or not. If I didn't, it's because I completely forgot, forgot about it. Um, but it's really good. It's got that sour, you know, perique type of taste that you get. But and then it's combined with that red Virginia as well, which gives you even more. I forgot how good this was. It's been a few months since I smoked it. It's really good. I kind of shy away from it because, uh, I mean, it's perfect for now, like on ride into work. <clears throat> like, I, I, I enjoy flakes, you know, like I've said a million times, just because I like the fact that they'll last a lot longer. Um, I packed a, uh, the Danish pipe shop, that little Dan pipe pipe that I got, I actually ordered a brown one, because <coughs> I love that pipe so much, it's so light, it, 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 it fits in my mouth, perfect, um, and it's, it's not a big pipe, but it's really deep bowl, and I mean, I packed that with, um, Capstan Gold this morning, I smoked it for two hours, so I love, I, you know, that's the, that's why I love flakes, because you can pack a bowl, if I pack this bowl with this ribbon cut, and I pack the, this pipe with a, with the same amount but with a flake, it's going to burn probably twice as long. So it's not a huge ordeal. I mean, if I'm sitting out on the porch, or if I, you know, I can always just pack two bowls, which is what I'll do if I do smoke like a ribbon cut. But this is a really good blend. Again, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that it really, that I can compare it to. <coughs> apples to apples. Um, I don't know if the, I don't think the Carolina Red Virginia from C&D has Perique in it. I think it's just a Red Virginia. And I did, um, Brian McCauley had sent me a, uh, a couple of, Samples, not samples, but when I when I ordered my pipe from him, he sent me some uh, some Newminster 403, some Orlick Golden Slice, and some uh, Sutlet 515. He asked me, you know, what I like, what kind of tobacco do I smoke? And um, same thing with like the Simply Red. I just got a bunch of that from uh, Watch City, and that's really good too. <clears throat> but again, like uh, I smoked those Red Virginias thinking like, oh man, is there something else coming, and it's because I'm so used to smoking this, for a while I smoked this, like, almost on a daily basis, it was, it was that, like, when I first found this, I, I couldn't stop reaching for it, and it's been a couple months, like I said, since I, since I smoked it, and I remember why I did, it's really good. So, yeah, 41 years old today. Um, don't feel any different than being 40. Today, fun fact, today was also the day that Jerry Garcia died. He died on my 15th birthday, 1995, which is a which was a bummer. You know, being a fan of the Grateful Dead. But I um, hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a nice little kind of mini vacay. Um, I'm taking a couple days this week too. I took Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we went to 
the Elmwood Park Zoo on Wednesday. Thursday, I took my son up to, uh, up in, up near Lancaster. It's, uh, it's called Strasburg Railroad. It's the oldest operating railroad in America. Um, and, uh, it's really neat. You know, you, you go out, um, through the farmlands. There's a couple of cool little things they do for kids. You ride on the coach and then, uh, you go to Paradise PA and then you come back. Um, just a nice little, nice day out. You know, it's only a 45 minute train ride or so. Did that. And then, uh, my wife and my two boys, they went down the shore this weekend they came back yesterday, um, and then I took the girls to, uh, right around about 10 minutes from my house, there's a, uh, it's called Linvilla Orchards, which is, um, they have a, have a little petting zoo area, you feed chickens and geese, they have pony rides, they have all kinds of stuff, but you know, I just brought them up to, uh, to see, feed the chickens and the ducks and all that good stuff, so it was a nice, nice, nice week, you know, short five, six days of, uh, just having family time and taking the kids somewhere, so, I was originally supposed to go to New York for my birthday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, come home Sunday, but, um, my sister is supposed to babysit, she's had some stuff come up, so we're gonna reschedule that and probably just go up in October for our anniversary. Last time me and my wife went anywhere was, uh, to New York City in October of 2019, so it's been two years since we've really gotten a break or gone anywhere by ourselves. We went out to dinner one time um, for our anniversary last year, so we need some alone time. We're really good at doing that, like a couple times a year just to get away, you know, no kids, no dogs, no, no nothing, just it's important to do that. Hit the reset button. But, um, yeah. So, I got another short week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and then I'm gonna take Thursday and Friday off. I got some stuff I can do around the house. Got a couch coming on Thursday, so, um, I got some stuff I can, I can use those days to get done. And then hopefully my bow will be done this week. Um, I had the string snap on it, so I, I, that's the other thing I did when I went up to uh, Lancaster. I dropped my bow off <clears throat> at Lancaster Archery, so when the strings come in this week, they can they can get it all strung up, and they can go pick it up, and we'll fine tune it, and then that'll be done, which I'm pumped about. You know, do some shooting this weekend if I get it back in time, but. Anyway, guys, that's all I got today. Um, I should hopefully be able to sneak a video in tomorrow. Um, I have to bring a customer's car in. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do one before. Or, yeah, I don't want to smoke in their car. It's not like a work truck. They don't smoke. So, I don't want to do any of that. But, um, yeah. to get the food store at to work, so park next to the cart return. But yeah, I hope you guys had a had a good good weekend. I haven't, I haven't talked to you guys in almost a week. Last Tuesday was the last time I uh I made a video so been a little while. I had a great um pipe club meeting this week guys uh, aren't members of the virtual pipe club i highly suggest that you join this is a great time good two hours every saturday to you know chat with friends and like-minded people about pipes and um sometimes we have special guests which are which are awesome but my favorite um my favorite meetings are the ones where we don't have a any 
guest speakers and we just kind of bring up topics and talk about what you know what we do what pipes we like what blends we like what kind of storage we how do we store our tobaccos we talked about that this week how many open tins do you have how many jars do you store how do you store your stuff all that good stuff but anyway guys i've rambled enough hope you guys have a great day and remember the left lane is for passing see you guys